why would any sane man have done such a thing? Because that is a logical result of denying the truth exists. You come to want to destroy the world which has truth in it, such as the deadly poison of fundamental skepticism. Do you see now why I tell you not even to listen to the person who tries to tell you the truth does not exist? It's like a lethal plague, a modern black death of the mind. If we believe it, it will take us where the three million people of Phnom Penh and Cambodia went, where the devil, that liar from the beginning, wants us all to go, from which Jesus Christ alone can save us. That is why we call him Savior. Which brings me to the second watchword of our college, the Incarnation Happened. God made us fleshly images, and so he sent his Son, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, as a man to expiate all our sins on the cross, thereby opening the road to heaven for us. Think what this means. The Divine Lord, the King of Angels, the Master of the Light Years, put himself into a human body as much lower than he is, uh, much lower than he as a worm or a slug is from us. And he took upon himself all the sins of mankind, all the evils of Hitler, Lenin, Stalin, Mao, and Genghis Khan, and Papa. There is no room for any rational doubt that Jesus Christ did exactly this, which is why we worship him. In every one of the Gospels, and especially in the Gospel of John, he says exactly who he is. Historical research has established that all the Gospels were written while there were still people living who remembered him. And John was his favorite, the beloved disciple who was an eyewitness of the crucifixion and stood at the foot of the cross when all the other apostles, even Peter, had fled. Christ chose Peter the fisherman as the head of his church, the first pope, in the ringing words given in Matthew 16, 18, 19, which every one of you should know by heart. So whenever anyone asks you who founded your church, I used to have a uh, online answering, an uh, online uh, service where I would get questions from people and I often asked who founded your church. We can say with full assurance that God himself founded it because the incarnation happened. And that is true because truth exists. That's why we say that truth exists and the incarnation happened are the watchwords of Christendom College. That is why you must go to your death, fearlessly proclaiming that truth exists. That is why you must avoid, as you will avoid a play victim, any man or institution that permits the teaching that truth does not exist. This is our modern message, message of death and destruction. And it is why averring that the incarnation happened make you, makes you a Christian. So why I was not a Christian until I could say it. Finally, what happened to the survivors from the horror of Phnom Penh in Cambodia? The ones still alive were resettled in the countryside, classified as peasants, workers, or soldiers, and assigned to labor battalions accordingly. Quote, they slept in barracks, ate in canteens, gave up their children, and worked. All else was banned. Markets, money, schools, books, religion, prayer, idle hours of conversation and laughter, music. The people who worked, people worked every day with rare days off for political education. The work day began at six in the morning and ended at eight, to, ended at six to, at, and could last until eight or ten in the evening, end quote. All communications with the outside world were cut off. Telephone, telegraph, cable, mail service, airline service, except for occasional flights to Beijing, from Beijing, uh, from or to Beijing, Moscow, and Hanoi, whence the horror had come. Foreigners were expelled from the enslaved country. No replacements were admitted for months. The borders, land, and sea were closed and tightly patrolled. When anyone trying to cross them was killed. It is estimated that probably a quarter of the entire population of Cambodia, male and female, one man or woman every four, died in the city evacuations and the police terror of the first year total rule by the Anka Leo. Paul Pot and the Anka Leo ruled Cambodia for three years. Then the communists of Vietnam took it over. 
when they rule their own, while they rule their own country in much the same way. So desperate were the Vietnamese people to escape this diabolical slavery that they would launch out into the sea, riding on anything that would float. They were called the boat people. I once had a Vietnamese student named Mary Claire Almeter, who was adopted by a family in Georgia, whose uncle was one of these boat people. He floated out to sea with one companion, a Buddhist. Mary Claire and her uncle are Catholics. Her uncle had almost reached the escape boat on the beach when he escaped, when he stopped to rescue a mother and her two children who had become trapped in quicksand. Then he and the Buddhist were taken aboard a boat which was attacked by pirates, looted, and sunk. The pirates killed most of the men aboard. Mary Claire's uncle, whose name was Duong Lei, and the Buddhist, Buddhist were left swimming in the open sea. They were utterly abandoned, but Duong Lei knew that God never abandons his people. Buddhists asked Duong Lei to baptize him in seawater, and he did. In that act, the Buddhists became a Catholic. At that moment, a white dove flew down almost to the surface of the water and flew away. Swimming to the place where the dove had descended to the surface, the two men came upon a huge log with many edible crustaceans and shellfish on which they lived for many days until they were rescued from the sea. Our Christian iconographers depict the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. Was this the Holy Spirit? I think so. Mary Claire told me the story herself on May 12, 1994. Is there any wonder that she has now traveled to other colleges to deliver the message of Christ, or that her sister is now in the poor Claire community in Buffalo, to which several of our other graduates have gone? I hope that some of you may follow their example. So the devil did not get all the people from Cambodia and Vietnam, and our aid to them was not entirely wasted. He did not get Mary Claire or Duong Lei. Those of us who remain alive and free can still and always should proclaim to the world that truth exists and the incarnation happened. Never forget that you learned that here at Christendom College. Never listen to anyone who denies it, whatever his scholarly credentials. It is what Christ told Pilate by his very existence. It is our hymn of salvation.